so i believe that article 244a our long standing demand only the congress party the indian national congress can fulfill our demand that's what i believe on today this is vivian longki rongpi so well at this moment i'm being joined by alam rongpi the young and enthusiastic politicians and who is also the son of former executive member of Karbingal Autonomous Council, Sri uh, Pradeep Rongpi. Uh, Alam Rongpi has recently uh, quit uh, left BJP and joined the Congress Party. So we are here to know from him why did he uh, left BJP and join the Congress Party. So we welcome you to Karbingal today. So Thank you. At the first, uh, what makes that you have uh, left BJP and join the uh, Congress Party. Uh, I have worked in the BJP party for the last six years uh, as the General Secretary of Bharatiya Janata Yuva Morcha. And I have seen that the party organization what the BJP has created is very harmful for our nation and as well as for Karbiangno. Because the communal environment that I have created around them and for example, like cases like Clash of Manipur, as we all know, it's still going on and I don't know for how long it will go on. And as well as the bills they have introduced, like the Uniform Civil Court, which is like still in the process of being implemented. It's very harmful for the Northeast as well as for Karbi Anglong, because see, uh, as we all know that Northeast, is, Northeast includes of scheduled tribes, mostly and like everyone has different customs and practices so when uniform civil code is applied a particular set of laws cannot define the customs and practices that we all practice and for a country like india where we have uh, where our constitution is based on unity in diversity and we have so much of diverse religion and culture and customs I don't think in this kind of country uniform civil code is, should be applied. Uh, till now uniform civil code has been applied in countries like Bangladesh or Turkey or Malaysia because all, the, all those countries have only one religion and almost say suppose like 95 to 99 percent of them are Muslims. So only in those countries uniform civil code should apply and BJP is, uh, BJP is also I want to say the second point say suppose like the corruption what is going on. Uh, you, as we all know, uh, the Prime Minister, the Honorable Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi, so whenever he goes to a meeting or wherever he goes to a meeting, he always says, na khaunga, na khane dunga. But the case is very different in a place like Karbianglong and of, of course Assam because the corruption has gone up to that kind of level that it's very hard for the normal people and the common people to survive in this kind of environment. Okay, sir. Why did you decided to join the Indian National Congress Party? What are the motive behind of joining the Indian National Congress Party? Indian National Congress, the INC, is as we all know, is the oldest party, oldest democratic party in India, and it is also the largest democratic party in India. So I believe that Indian National Congress and, of course, Mr. Rahul Gandhi. Rahul Gandhi ji has started the Bharat Joro Yatra and the, with the vision that he has taken for this Bharat Joro Yatra uh, he always says that Nafrat ki bazaar mein mohabbat ki dukan kholunga so I am very much influenced by that vision as well and also the idea of the caste censors what Rahul Gandhi ji always says the caste censors will prove to be very effective in a place like Karbian Long and the whole of notice because we have I believe that scheduled tribes, the ST people are more in these areas. So the caste census will prove to be very effective for us to get equal rights. We should get equal rights and equally the central government also should treat equally to all the STs, SCs, OBCs and minorities. So I believe that Congress party, the caste census issue and also See, Congress party are the only party today, no matter whatever the BJP party says, institutions like AIMS, New Delhi, IIT, IIM, were all introduced by the Congress party in India. 
so i believe that congress party is the right choice for me and also uh, and also there are many other things like uh, the right now the bjp is challenging the constitution of india and and not allowing us to practice the fundamental rights uh, rights also because as you know we have right to equality right to freedom of religion all these things are not coming all all those things are not being uh, practiced right now because of this uh, all those things will not come into picture if suppose uniform civil code is applied to implemented in the country so it's very harmful for karbianglong as well as the northeast india and the whole of india as well and there are many more other reasons like say suppose if i say about article 244a uh till now what whatever i have seen is like narendra modi has visited karbianglong honorable home minister amit shah has visited visited karbianglong rajnath singh has visited karbianglong but not even once they mentioned about the article 244a which is the long standing demand of our karbi people they have not addressed that and when we see the history of india whether it be meghalaya or nagaland or mizoram or telangana all the separate states or autonomous states which was created later on after uh, after partition was given to them by the congress party so i believe that article 244a our long standing demand only the congress party the indian national congress can fulfill our demand that's what i believe in sir my next question to you is that do you feel any insecurity with the bjp though you are obtaining a good position in the bjpm as you have earlier mentioned that you are the general secretary of bjpm of east karbinon district so do you feel any insecurity with the bjp uh no i didn't find any insecurity in my position or something like that because i have not been in the bjp party for any kind of position or anything i have been in the in the party to work for the party but as i've seen that when the party is not doing good enough for my people then i feel like it's time to change my party and come to congress where i believe that the long standing demand of the people of the karbiang long and also the vision with what rahul gandhi has created the bharat joro yatra he has gone to the extreme level of uh, to the poor people to the farmers to the coolies to the um, to the mechanics to the to so many people he has visited to the low class people and i believe that congress party can do a lot in karbianglong because we we the hill tribe people we live in we live in the hill areas and we still are deprived of many opportunities and as well as development whatever we should get we are de- being deprived and also yeah the karbianglong council autonomous council can do much more better if it is run by the indian national congress uh sir then uh, do you believe that uh, congress will uh, fulfill that uh, article 244 which is the long demand of the karbianglong uh, people Uh, apart from this uh, ASDC and APSMC the regional party they have also <coughs> working for it so why don't you join uh, choose for the ASDC and APSMC see why i don't choose to be in a regional party is because whatever the long standing demand that we have the article 244 about what you said see article 244 a can be fulfilled only by a national party because a regional party cannot rule the whole country and the rules and the laws are made by the government who control the uh, central government who rule in the central government so i believe that congress is the only party because we have seen previously that there are given states autonomous states to telangana meghalaya nagaland and many other so i suppose like uttarakhand or or whatever in many other states are there so i believe that they are the only party who can support the article 244a and also sri rahul gandhi has also mentioned in his one of his speech about article 244a so i have faith in inc that uh, our demand for autonomous state will be fulfilled by the inc uh, sir my last question to you is that do you have any future plan to contest the council election 
See, right now I don't have any plans to stand for elections, uh, but yeah, there are still lots of people who are joining to Congress right now. Like, say, suppose uh, by the end of January or the by the month of first of January, February, I'll be having a mass joining program in Chintong. So there, are like thousands and thousands of people will be joining into Congress. So I'm I'll not tell you about elections about my thing, but yeah, I want to work hard for the party right now. And if the party thinks that I'm eligible for it, yeah, surely I will do contest.